Cedar Parkway at El Cajon for the title matches of today's JVT event. A little bit of bonus coverage first. A great semifinal between Nathan Tidball and Avery Domagain. The winner to play top seed Elias O'Halloran for the title. Elias and Avery have been 1-2 for just about the entire day, but Nathan making a great run at it. As we check out the scoreboard here, it's Avery has spare strike for 219, which would be good for the... No, what am I thinking here? Which means uh, Nathan's just going to need to mark for that win, so we'll stay with her for just a second. They are done on 9, 10, and 1, and 2. Okay, so I'm not going to sell You can sell 9 if you want. No, I just wanted to make sure I did any You got crowded. You can sell 9 for 7, 8, and 4. Avery did convert that spare, so she'll fill at 219. She had front nine by far, the only front whatever of the day in game four. Had a really neat streak going. All of her scores were two something five. 25, 25, 15, 65, 25. Messed it up with 220 in losing to Elias for the U17 title. Rebounded with 235 and then a nasty 246. I don't know what she was thinking. She'll fill that out for the 219. It's not 215, but it'll have to do as it's not a five. Now you're all over the place as Nate will need a mark. A mark would be an accomplishment because Nathan's basically bowling with about nine and a quarter fingers right now. One of his fingers is an absolute mess. His girlfriend's down here doing surgery between shots. Uh, it was a good job just to get past match one against Justin Eric's. That's going way left, and that is not going to be easy to shoot at. Choppable, missable, he's got to spare it to advance. To the right, this is the Handicap Division title match going on. This is 14-year-old Daniel Rios. He is giving 30-some-odd pins, 36 pins a handicap to 9-year-old Neil Cancaria, looking to complete one of the more interesting storylines. Neil's big brother Jay won his first title yesterday. Neil's thinking, I can do that too. But first, here's Nathan to get to the title match. No! Covers that back then. Not what you'd want to shoot to move on. He needs nine still. Still not done. Rio slaps out that 10 pin, two shots throw. He's got an early double and he's made up a lot of that difference already because Neil started open spare but then guttered after the spare. He's so amped up as is typical and expected for a nine year old that this match is blazing by on shore. Leaves a tough spare here. Uh, nine to win. That's high again. Oh, and the eight stands up. We're tied at 219. <laughs> Avery and Nathan, listen up here. Come over here so I can... We break these tie by a one-shot roll-off. Avery, you're the higher seed, so you have a choice of both lane and order. If you tie at the end of the first time, the lane will flip-flop, but the order will stay the same. What would you like to do? Uh, I'll go first on the right lane. First on the right, Nate, you'll follow her on the right-hand lane if you... Ty, you go to the left-hand lane and do it again. I'm going to tell the crowd what's up, but Avery, go ahead and go do it. We break stretch division ties by one shot roll okay? Avery's the higher seed. She elected to go first. Uh, right. Neil converts his spare over there. Good job at that. All right, now Rios way in control with strike spare double through four. He was terrified of the pins that he had to give in his last match against another little guy. Uh, Anthony Garcia, who's able to accomplish that. Here's Avery's roll-off shot. Ooh. Ten pin stands, opportunity for tip ball. Rios goes up high and strengthens it too. Good thing I decided to record the tail end of that match, just for yeah. whatever reason, and we ended up getting some bonus bowling. 
tough little spare for Daniel. He covers it, no problem. Pretty low scores today. We bowled on Taj Mahal, a much flatter pattern than we used yesterday. The scores reflected that. I know that the people at the very top had a pretty good luck. The cuts were significantly low today. 70 down or something, 86 down in scratch. Much better shot than Daniel. His team likes that. Second opportunity for Tidball to move on to the finals. That's way left again. And the five pin stands and they're tied again. Here's Kankaria in his fifth best shot of the match. But oh, it comes up high and doesn't break up the split. Gabriel will move over to the left hand lane. Neil's got his hands full right now. Another nine year old Caden Sam finished fourth in handicap. So a nine, a nine, a 14, and however old Anthony. That can't be double digits either. So the youngsters did great in handicap today. But only getting one pin is way behind in this match. I would always go first in these roll-offs too. Put all the pressure on Kona. Dead flush with that one. Neil with that Gumby delivery, that's a plastic ball on his... He's throwing a plastic ball and I'm convinced he's got a plastic arm because human beings aren't supposed to do that. And the entire arm just goes, yep. A lot of arm chiropractors are going to make a lot of money in about 20 years. He switches to reactive and covers the whole lane and makes it perfectly. Must strike. Does not get it. The roll-up ends. What a battle between Nate and Avery. And the one versus two we thought we would have today finally does come to fruition. It'll be Elias and Avery in the title match. The Band-Aid Company's stock prices will skyrocket after today as the future Antelope will finish up in third place. He had his college signing here earlier today. Rios working on a strike in his seventh frame of the title match already. Pretty good ball, leaves a makeable spare. He just wants to fill frames. He can mark the rest of the way. He's going to make life almost impossible on Neil as his, there's yesterday's winner Jay, his brother, talking him up. Nice to see brothers that actually want to see their sibling win. I'd say that's a 50-50 shot at best. Edges that two pin over. He's clean with the double. Again, only giving 36, so he is well in control of this match. Trying to mount a comeback, he spared in the seventh. He's the uh, nasty little two seven. So I wonder if he'll do righty hook at this. Because why not? His brother would. He did the last one. I, yep. I tell you what. All right, there you go. This is proof that evolution works much faster than some science would tell you because these are not the same species of human beings that I bowled with. Up mega quick as the nine-year-olds tend to do. Oh, another real good shot. Just pins not falling for him this time. Qualified first to plus 218 on a 132 average. Bowled every single game over average today and they were tough today so that's very impressive. 
Back to the righty hook for the left side corner pin. Don't ask me why, but he knows what he's doing. His corner pin shooting's been just fine. Just can't find that pocket to get all 10 down the first time. Tour takes a week off. What am I gonna do with myself? Then on to Vegas, and then it gets insane in Utah, Lubbock, Albuquerque. Oh, three weeks in a row coming up after that. So I'm gonna try it. I have no idea what I'm gonna do yet. <laughs> Somehow we'll get there. Don't ask me how yet. Boy, Rios is pulling a fantastic game. Another strike here. He's got a well. He's already at 200s. We can mark one more time. That should be plenty to take this title. Elias and Avery are deleting their scores. Menu three. Check D, kids. There we go. One more time. Ha ha. Got home house top three today too. Yes, Parkway yes, Indian. these are all Parkway bowlers in the scratch top three. That's rare. These bowlers come from not only over California but all over the whole Southwest. It'll be Nate three, and we'll see which order these one two. They've been fighting it all day. Only six pins between them after eight games of bowling. One more game will decide matters, but right now the matters are decided over in handicap. As Daniel will bowl a clean game and will win his second career title. He had a doubles title with Aaron Shepard, so this will be his first singles win. And he's leaving. He's not throwing his last ball. Who knows if it'll count? That's, that's a good idea. Ball change in the tenth. Yeah, just one. Stay in the moment, Daniel. There you go. Pretty shot to open up from Avery. This should be a, a barn burner over here. Two kids that know each other really well and know this center well. And how about 204 clean for a brand new single champ? So Daniel. Daniel. So it's it's Sunday, Daniel. Confession is good for the soul. You were so terrified of playing all those big handicaps. And you went win-win. What do you have to say for yourself? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that much, huh? You bowled great. Congratulations. Beating up on a nine-year-old and a 12-year-old. He's only 14. He's like, okay. Neil, hold your head high, young man. You bowled fantastic all day. That win will come, as long as your arm stays on your shoulders. If it doesn't, he'll probably kick the ball down there and be just as good. Who knows? Give him a strike. Ah. Nathan, would your uh, bloody stump like to claim your plaque here? There you go. Get that. Uh, get that on camera. Oh my God. No, he's not. He's he's not doing what he thinks you're doing. Number ten of the day. Oh my goodness. Well, big thanks to your surgeon and everybody else. Uh, Neil's sad, but. That's a moment that I like right there, is uh, Daniel the first to comfort him. No shame in that, young man. I don't know if these were in any order, but... No, they weren't. I just okay. Thank you. Part two should be fantastic. Make sure to watch it.